Hello and welcome back to How Not To Adventure. Now unfortunately, our Dungeon Master Douglas somehow managed to lose two hours worth of recording. So quite a lot's happened since episode two. Let me fill you in. Dalton, Sebastian, Grey, Scram and Jibberwick went around talking to all the townsfolk of Durgon's Rest, looking for information about the accused witch, Elia Fenfrost. They met Rygon Lancaster, Captain of the Guard, who seemed to be a bit of a scorned lover, they talked to Master Windhorn, who was suspicious, to say the least. And they talked to a load of bumbling other buffoons who added nothing to the story, really. After spending approximately eight weeks negotiating the rental of a donkey, the three headed off into the forest to look for a liar. Immediately getting sidetracked, the three now find themselves in an elven tomb, where Jibblewick has just found himself a lovely new sword that he won't use for many, many episodes. Right, so you find yourselves in these elven ruins. You've made your way down the hall, you found a skeleton, a weird sword, uh, made it past a few traps. Um, got shot by one. Yeah. Well, I got shot by one. Everyone else was magically fine. Took one for the team, Dalton. Yeah, that's fine. That's what I do. And you've made it into the entrance hall. Uh, past a few more traps and before you stands a slightly ajar stone door okay um, in, it, is that literally the only point of interest? a slightly ajar, ajar stone door or is there anything else I can look at pilfer and generally muck around with uh, there's not much there's some like elven stuff written on the walls and whatnot. but yeah nothing Nothing that interesting so far. And nothing stands out to me, again, being able to speak Elvish. There's no, like, words that clearly say... Uh, well, this is... It's a very ancient form of Elvish. Okay. And you'd, you'd guess that this is some sort of tomb. Yeah, well, we know it's a tomb from last time, and it's a tomb between about... Peace or something? There was like the green was cloak and the brown two, cloak. Two warring factions, wasn't it? Two ancient factions. Yeah, there. it's like a yeah, memorial of the peace yeah. state. Yeah. Okay, so, so as long as there's no like obvious text that's been added later in blood red or anything saying <laughs> no, you're all doomed. <laughs> Don't go through that door. Um, abandon, abandon hope, all ye who enter here. I exactly. I turn to my comrades and say, "Bloody doors open over there. I think we should uh, probably crack on through that." It is. I can open it without us having to go near it. Perfect plan. Isn't, isn't it already a little bit ajar? I can see over there. No, he's, what he means is he's got a really long stick and he's going to poke it from the <laughs> distance. What I mean what is, I can do this. I wiggle my fingers in the direction of the door and uh, using my magic of thaumaturgy, which has been quite ubiquitous so far, to be honest with you. Um, the door opens completely. Slowly. With a creak. Is it dark inside? Uh, yes. Can I make anything out with my dark vision? Um, you can see more hallway. More hallway. With perhaps other halls coming off it. And that's I think we should probably be careful about this, given the nature of there being traps everywhere in the last room and in this room. I can only imagine. That I gently put my hands up to the, my shoulder where I was shot in the previous episode and go, "Yeah, I agree. That's a great idea." Yeah, uh, and then I say, "I'm not going first, though. Absolutely not." <laughs> <laughs> I, have I do idea. feel that you should go first because you're the only one with uh, less health Armor. right now. And no, you know... I fully healed myself last episode, actually. So, rats, screw rats. you. Not that anyone else knows because we lost all the recording. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> actually, uh, as we lost all the recording, I think this is a good time to mention I found full rune armor. <laughs> this isn't RuneScape. <laughs> Maybe not to you, Doug. Wait, what? <laughs> like I say, I have an idea. Pray tell. Has anyone? Has anyone got a bow of some kind? And perhaps some burny oily stuff? I don't have a bow. I have some rope, though. I, uh, Doesn't Jibblewick have oil and a lamp? Knapsack? 
and I, I do have a short bow. Um, and I also, it's, it's a very short bow, you know, it's got to be the size for me. In your, is it Thief's pack or Dungeoneering pack? There's like, uh, uh I've got 10 it? torches, that, that's about no, it. No, no, not, not torches, a... there's like, um, oil in it, isn't there? Like oil in no, a lamp. I don't have oil. I've got torches, food, water skin, rope, uh, tinder box. Tinder box could be handy. I could but set I fire to his oil. bedroll if you want. I'm sure, I'm sure <laughs> one of us got something that had oil in it. Maybe not. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm making that up. Uh, well, I see. We'll anyway. never know, will we? <laughs> no. no. So. Uh... Oh, I'll get out my oil, which I found at the end of the last episode. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, in the room, in the back oil. room, there was like twelve <laughs> gallons of oil in drums. That was really yeah. We we wheel that in. Well, <laughs> oh, no. all right. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna continue this out of character now. What I was gonna say was, if we light a fire on. I mean, I've got a crossbow. I should have mentioned that, and I forgot. Um, <laughs> and like, just shoot it down the hallway when it's a light, and I can do my magical make light brighter thing again. We can see down the hall like a torch, but better because it might kill someone down at the other end. Yes, I like that. Let's do it. That's what we're all about—a murder party. <laughs> murder hobos unite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, let's let's do that. That seems like a good idea. Because I'm looking down yeah, just pitch black she's, corridor at the moment. Tricks. Right. True. So we do that, Doug. Yeah, we do that. <laughs> okay. Um, so as you sort of light up the corridor beyond the door, you can see that there's kind of a crossroads. Uh, like the so, TV series from the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's actually Blazing Squad. Um... So, Fucking millennials. yeah, a hall with two halls coming off it either side and a big door in front. Okay. And also, uh, a couple of bats fly out at, at you. So, yeah. uh, roll, roll me initiative. How big are these bats that I need to roll initiative for them? Sorry? How big are the bats that I need to roll initiative for them? Are they that, actually coming for well, me? <laughs> yeah, in the previous episode, you thought rat, rat, rats, and bats are basically the same. Flying rats, let them not eat my shins. Ooh. 19. Uh, 17. Oh, these bats are going to get and buggered. I've got a 15. Okay, so Chris is first. Cool. Uh, how many bats are we facing? Two. <gasps> okay. Uh, well, as I've already got my crossbow out, probably going to miss, but I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, <laughs> twang, I'll uh, quickly shaft a, a crossbow bolt into a, the closest of the two. Okie dokie. Twelve. Uh, yep, yeah, you hit. Oh, hey. Right, D8. Where's my D8 there? <coughs> Seven. And the bat goes down. Yes. Good shot, Score sir. Score one for the tiefling. But the other bat's going to attack you now. Oh. Got ourselves a nice little Robin Hood over there. Thought you are only good at magic. I'm a man of many talents, obviously. Eighteen. Well, yeah, that's, that's definitely hit my armour. And we lost an adventurer early on. <laughs> <laughs> you take Farewell, Scram. You are a noble adventurer. <laughs> the poison seeps in. His skin boils. No. Oh. <laughs> Blinded by the bat's claws, he falls over a ravine that he had not seen before. <laughs> he dies. The torch Damn failed the to light it. Ah! <laughs> and now, it's your turn, Rob. Cool. Come on, Rob, finish him off. Finish him off so I'm, I'm just, you know, I can keep these right, hands how, clean. How big is this bat? Like, because I, I, I need to know what I'm aiming for before I make a decision. For example, uh, it can't be regular well, bat size because there's no way I'm going to hit that with a flipping greatsword or a maul. So I'm you say that. Scarum just hit it with a bow. Uh, that's some true talent right there. That is true. Uh, it's kind of bat sized. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Imagine it to be the size of a bat. That's its size. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. In that case... Imagine hitting I'm... it with a maul. 
that's how that's what happens to it. I'm gonna walk away completely in the opposite direction, completely uninterested, and uh, so start what, investigating through the stone door. I'm just gonna. Haven't we already gone through the stone door? Is this the second stone door? No, I thought this is this is the stone door that we just shot an arrow through. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we haven't actually gone down there. Um, no. Yeah. Oh no! But if I do that, I'm instantly going to get killed by a trap. Um, <laughs> you know what? Rocks I'll fall. <laughs> Dalton Sebastian Belvedere Gray dies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell you what. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna get. How do you fight a bat as a paladin? I'm just swing gonna swing wildly. a great. Yeah, I'm gonna swing wildly with my with my great sword. Just incoming one. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Mrs. Cleaves <laughs> Jibblewick and Twain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Ten plus five, fifteen. You hit it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, right, here we go. Uh, five, six, seven, eight damage done total. And you cleave it in Twain. A perfect split. Marvellous. So just l let the record show that I've totally decked a rat. Two rats. One large, one small, and a small bat in this adventure so far. <laughs> I'm a killing machine. <laughs> well done. <laughs> thank you, thank let you. Let the record show that Jibblewick has not killed anything yet. Uh, but I did try to steal a horse. That's true. <laughs> and I got us a donkey. That is true. We did have... Uh, a us... You mean me? Uh, who was the one that talked him down from like a two hundred gold? Fetch me my mount, peasant. <laughs> New. So, um, after basking in the smugness of my victory for a while, I say, I guess we should go down the corridor then. I agree. Jibblewick, are you going to tie that to your neck as well? I say, pointing at the the bat that I managed to skewer. Yes. Are you going to add it to your collection? I immediately ignore Scarum, but I do bend over into the carcasses, and I, I just, you know, I see if there's... I just want to see if there's anything worthwhile which they may have been digesting. <laughs> and, um, that, you know, that be it a coin or, or something like that? Uh, alas, no. Well, that just reminds me. Inside the giant you find rat... giblets. Inside the giant rat from last time, I actually found a handgun, so... <laughs> <laughs> I wipe my bloody fingers on my um, trousers, uh, which fortunately are quite a burgundy coloured already, so I don't really have a, too much of an issue there. Uh, and then I, I, I go up to follow Dalton, really, um, because you know he's he's the tallest one out of us. I am expecting him to lead, regardless of his injuries. I head off to lead, but casually, but cautiously at the same time. I've got to look good, but I've got to be cautious at the same time. <laughs> Acrobatic as well. No, Lord no. More of a more of a <laughs> swagger. <laughs> and I follow along behind, watching the floor, looking for traps because I'm not. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. You walk through the stone door and into this hallway, and everyone needs to give me a uh, sixteen dexterity check. Uh, seventeen. In that case, twelve. Oh, hang on! Just got to get the app open. <laughs> As the floor floor below you falls away into a pit. I I've rolled a nine. Uh, unfortunately, you fall into the pit. <laughs> <laughs> do I hurt myself as I take a landing, or do I land on my feet? You land on a spear. Uh, give me another dexterity check. Another dexterity check. That's an 11 plus 5, so 16. Okay. You will take... Uh... Oh, no, sorry. Sorry, it's plus 3. That's a Sony a, a 30. Yeah, you fall and you land on your feet, but it's still quite far. So you take 2 damage. Oh, damn. All right, I, so I, any, any of I wince in pain, there? rocking forth and back, uh, and shout up to uh, my, my, my brethren and um, 
shout for help immediately. I can't see anything down here. Well, How far have I fish. fallen? About ten feet. Ten feet. Okay. You have dark vision. I shout down at him. Open your eyes, you fool! <laughs> I wipe the dirt off of my eyes <laughs> to then unveil with my dark vision. But what do I see? Um, a pit. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any way out? Um, you can try and climb out. Um, do you just want me to throw my I, rope I down to you? Up. I was going to say before. Yeah, I was going to say we've all got rope, fifty feet worth. Yeah. <laughs> so we could climb up and down five times. <laughs> True. Let's do that. Probably just let's roll for that I right now. One bit of rope for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I say Everyone we just throw falls. the rope down, and uh, Dalton and Scram will uh, just pull him up, or attempt to. Just don't throw all fifty feet down at once. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> what do you mean you weren't holding the end? <laughs> I thought you were holding the end. Okay, so I, I get my yeah. I throw some rope down, and I say, "Hey, climb it." Is it as simple as me just climbing out? Yeah, because I'm not going to make you do a check for that. <laughs> sweet. Right, well, uh, I'll I take here a sweet time. Falling back in. And I climb up. Just okay. Like that. <laughs> so, you're now back in this crossroads. You have a door in front of you and hallways to the left and right. Doorways to the front of you. Hallways to the right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stuck in a pit with you. <laughs> Looking down either hallway, can we see anything? Is it still d very dark? Am I relying on dark vision? Oh, uh, there's more doors. There's just more doors. So there's one big door in front of us and two hallways with lots of just doors. It's like the Matrix. There's actually hundreds of doors. Hundreds and hundreds. But have you got the key? Just remember, my companions, one does not simply walk into more doors. <laughs> <laughs> That's my character sarcastically laughing at you, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Understanding the reference, of course. <laughs> right, I, I reckon we should go straight ahead. Yeah, why would you go to lots of little yeah. doors when there's a big door in front of you? Exactly. Okay. I, Is okay. the big door I back off a little a bit, bit and stand off to one side to make sure nothing hits me. <laughs> so there's a big uh, stone door in front of you. Yeah. We'd like to open it. I will attempt to open it. It is locked. I kick the door gently, not to hurt my foot, but to show my annoyance. I... Can I open my um oh thieves tools? You got lockpicks, and right? I take out a set of lockpicks. Yeah, yeah. You may. Now I imagine you're going to need a certain kind of check from me. Yes. Uh, sleight of hand. What is the? Ch I think it is sleight of hand. Yeah. Or stealth. Yeah. Possibly. I sleight do of have hand. plus five in sleight of hand. So please say sleight of hand. Don't worry. If you fail, I'll try yeah, and persuade the door to be open. <laughs> <laughs> and if you fail, I'll intimidate it. <laughs> right. I roll a ten. So that's plus five. Fifteen solid points of lockpicking. You snap your lockpick. <laughs> Curses! Yeah, that's fine. There are the I uh, unlocks. very quickly open the door of my lockpicks and smugly look behind me to the other two. I look uh, away, pretending not to I'm notice. Just, uh, pretty, I, pretty badass at this. I stare right back at him and go, you should probably make sure the door wasn't trapped as well. Before looking away from it. <laughs> um, can you give me an arcana check, Chris? I can. <laughs> Five. Uh, mm, well, you can see that there was a little glyph on the lock, but you don't know what it was or anything. Oh dear. Probably should have inspected the door first, shouldn't we? <laughs> Oops. Rather than just try and kick it out. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so, it, through that door, you find yourself in a library. Uh, it's full of mostly mouldy books in lots of piles and on lots of shelves. And, uh, yeah. 
I pull an overdue library book out of my bag and attempt to find the desk to return it. <laughs> Why'd you just place it down? Yeah, <laughs> place it down and then back away, hoping no one will notice me who left it there. Scarab, I... do you do you recognise any of the texts? I'm gonna say, can I investigate and see if I recognise anything? Sure. You can all give me a well, we'll we'll do this first. So you're investigating. Nineteen. What did you get? Oh, bloody hell! Yeah. Uh, well, looking around, you can see it's mostly sort of just general books. books. Um, like most of them are rotten because, as I said, this thing place is clearly pretty ancient. Uh, but you see one that catches your eye. And it seems to be particularly old. And uh, you read it. And it it's not in the best condition, but it sort of tells you about uh, near about near the beginning of time, before man or even dwarves were created, uh, the elves tried to create a god in their own image. Um... And it's basically the story of that. And then it like skips a few pages or they're torn out. Or, uh, But anyway, it goes in to talk about a big golden statue that's worth like thousands and thousands of gold. And it tells you that that statue is on an island called Noldorin. So just uh, keep that one in your back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Big gold statue on the island of Noldorin. Okie dokie. Yeah, I've written that down too. <laughs> right, guys, how about we uh, just ditch this and find the statue? Yeah, yeah f- <laughs> fuck Durgan's rest. <laughs> <laughs> um. Can you all give me perception checks as well? Does the name Noldorin ring any bells of anybody, by the way? Like, can we roll uh, for that as well no. afterwards? If we uh, recognize it. Sure. Okay, I'll do perception first, okay. but then I, I do... Perception, I've, I got yeah. 13. I got 9. 18. You notice that one of these bookshelves looks a little bit suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> can I do a, I guess it would be, history check for to find... To see if we know anything about the island other than it's got a statue on it. Yes. I would, would it be history? Sure. Sure. I'll... Oh, natural 20! Get in! Oh, I won't even bother rolling okay. then. Wasted. <laughs> uh, natural 20. Okay. So, you've probably heard this story before like a million times. So you can fill in all the gaps in the book. Uh, apparently, the elves' attempt backfired horrifically. Uh, I gasp. Bosses. Um, the experiment uh, turned into like a mass of evil and chaos that de- threatened to devour the universe. Are you describing uh, Goldar from the Power Rangers? Or Cthulhu? No. The big gold statue? Uh, no? Just in time, however, a group of elven wizards managed to permanently imprison the god, the uh, god's essence in a statue. And, uh, yeah. Well, just because we're going to sell it doesn't mean it'll come alive again. You've also heard that 25 millennia after that, uh, a a warlord sent out his men to find it. Um, but no one ever returned. Which millennia are we in now in comparison to that 25 years? Was it, for example... 25 millennia. Tw- yeah, sorry. Was it last <laughs> week? Like after uh, the passing, like how many millennia has it been since that twenty-five years? But twenty for oh, God's sake, I hate myself. You uh, get my point. I th- you think, uh, as far as you recall, that fairly recent in comparison, but okay. like not within like you know maybe a few hundred years ago. Okay, not living okay. memory. Cool. Okay, that's fine. Thank you very much. So what we can expect from that is loads and loads of undead and a boss fight that takes the 
like form of a golden statue that's trying to kill us. Jesus Christ, it's just like uh, Jesus Erebor. Christ, it's Jason Bourne. It's Erebor all over again. We're gonna have a giant golden dwarf trying to drown us. Um, roughly how far away is the island? Did you mention that, or um, was I just not listening? Uh, it. Well, you're not particularly near the sea for a start, so you know. Well, that puts a hamper on things. Okay. It, it could be an island in the middle of a lake. Could be. Uh, no, it's in. Uh, you could probably. Uh, you know. You. Uh, uh, hang on. Actually, no. I'll send you it later. Far enough away to not but worry about now. That's all we need to know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. You couldn't get there within another adventure, perhaps. Season two. Perhaps. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs>